Hey you guys, Gideon's army was getting ready for war. So of course, you need a sword. All right, you're gonna start with a full piece of paper. You're gonna cut it in half. Save this half for later. Take this half and you're gonna fold it like this. Try to make it as perfect as possible on the edge. And do it one more time. All right, now that last fold, just fold out that last fold and you're gonna use the line, the crease in the middle of the paper to be your marker. So take the corner and you're going to fold it down to make the point of your sword at the top. There we go. All right, take the other side and fold it down too. If you have it exactly in the middle, then the paper should be in a perfect line. So mine's a little wonky, so I'll pull it down a little bit more. A little closer to the middle. All right. All right, so something like that. Now to make both sides of your sword look cool, we're gonna turn it over and we're going to take the edge and fold it to the middle crease. Turn it around, do the same thing on this side. All right, and if you have glue, now would be the time where you want to glue that down. Okay, the second piece of paper sticking up, so you might want to glue that one down too. Okay, now on the other side, you see the tip part is also sticking up. You probably want to glue that. Okay, you got your sword blade. Now you're gonna use the other half of your paper to make the sword guard, I think something would be called. So take this, fold it in half, and fold it again in half. And you're gonna do it one more time. All right, now would probably be a good time for you to color this what you want it to be because you're going to fold it in half like this and it's gonna go on your sword. So I'm just going to color the outside of what I'm going to have it be right now. Okay, so take that, fold it in half. You're going to have to really squeeze the end here because it's a lot of paper. And look at where you will be wanting it on your sword. It will go around both sides. Like that, figure out how you like the look of it, and then glue it. All right. Now, sometimes with this guard, you're going to have a little bit of a folding out. So if you want that not to happen, just take your glue stick and glue it down. All right. Now, you probably won't want to color your blade anything colorful, maybe just a gray or silver, because uh, anything else will just kind of make it look unrealistic. And the hilt of the sword, I'm gonna go for, I like this, the ones with stripes on it, and I'll use brown for leather. So go ahead and color your sword. All right, don't forget to keep it sharp for battle. So, this is my sword. Send me pictures of your sword.